Thank you. So, how are we doing now? Good heavens. I haven't heard that song in almost a year, and it's still stuck in my head. Thank you, Kelly Nigren, and welcome back. Like so many of us, this time of year, Kelly has been performing like crazy. Need to take a little break, like sometimes we do, to avoid getting that weird little tick we get going when we're working as hard as we do. Judges. Thank you. I'd like to point out that Mr. Monkey Jacks has issued that challenge. In the meantime, I was getting ready for a gig I've got coming up, and I was going through this box of makeup and costume pieces I have, and I realized something I wanted to share with all of you. I have upwards of seven or eight custom-made, high-quality clown noses in a variety of shapes and colors. Some of them were actually made to exacting specifications to match costumes that I own. This is the sort of pedantry of the absurd that has pushed me from being a mere entertainer to what I like to think of as a philosopher clown. I think too much about this stuff, which is to say I'm going slowly mad, possible, again, still, insert the thought you had here. The thing is, the pressures on every performer are pretty insane. You think about it, you're told constantly, bring your A game. Bring your A game. You've got to be awesome, absolutely amazing. Always <sighs> aggravated, finally uh, uh, upset and apathetic and done. And you burn out and are un incapable of alliterating properly. It's what happens, just like then. Moving on. So I've been thinking about that a lot lately, and I realize that entertainment isn't really the job I do. See, entertainment would be like, you have a stop toilet. No problem, bring a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible analogy for this room, I realize. <laughs> Similarly, and I'm going to have to defend this to all my juggling friends, it's like having three juggling balls on the floor and saying, quick, these balls need to be thrown in amazing mathematical breathtaking patterns. Chuck them in the air. Quick, hire a juggler. Well, that sounds, well, frankly, dull. It does. I'm a juggler, and I love juggling. I consider it zen and meditative and, and made me all hot and sexy and still kind of boring for you. So get rid of both of these ideas and approach it a different way, I thought. I decided to start working on my B game, which sounds a little weird, but just be prepared as part of the job. Be well practiced because you've got to be good at what you do. Otherwise, you're not going to be hired. That much is pretty bloody obvious. But... Ah, you're coming with me now. Thanks. The band caught up finally. But what I'm working on is being present, being here. I was at an event last weekend that if I had focused so tightly on my carefully constructed choreography, I would have missed an opportunity. I was dressed as a gangster, a zoot-suited, stilt-walking gangster, handing out cards and flyers in front of an event. And a little kid walked up to me with a lightsaber. Now I can ignore his joke. This is the option. And do my thing. Or I can chuck my to-do list and focus on the moment. Being there. Suddenly this entire group of people, parents included obviously, start cheering. Not for me, but for the kid who is chasing me around the streets of downtown Dallas with a lightsaber in his hand while I'm screaming and hooting in the top of my lungs and my zoot suit coat flapping in the breeze behind me. And it's looking really good and I hear something else. I hear one of them say, he's a genius. And they're not talking about the kid, I hope. <laughs> Point is, something incredible happened something that was not a part of my plan. There's no way I could have went, I'm going to be a 40s gangster. I'm going to bring a little kid with a lightsaber. And at the right moment, I'm going to have him attack me. <laughs> okay, truthfully, I probably could have set that up. But I didn't. I was sensitive to the moment. And it really changed how I'm approaching this. It's something I've been working on a lot. You have to be good at what you do. Performers in this room know this. You have to practice and practice. And I've been chanting that for a year. But try something new. Try being here. 
tonight we're going to be here. In a moment, we're going to unleash mental, mad, and wonderful things on this stage, which you are clearly emotionally prepared for. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have one of those unplanned moments that makes you think, genius. And remember this, you were a part of it here in the lab we call the open stage. Welcome. Welcome.